Today I'll show you the easiest free way of using Elementor to slide any element on your WordPress site. You can slide a block, post, cards or anything you want in just a few clicks. And the best part, you don't need any coding for this. The first step is to create a template in Elementor and then import the same template in Sina extension which will help us to slide it. Don't worry, it's super simple. So to create a template, I'll go to add new page from a dashboard and click edit with Elementor. Now instead of creating my block from scratch, I'll use Elementor's pre-built template. So let's click here and it gives me a variety of templates. Hmm, this looks good to me, so I'll click it and import the block like this. First, let's change the image. So go here and click choose image. From this window, select anything you like or upload any image you want. Now I'll change the title and replace it with this text. I'll do the same with the subtitle like this. Now let's change the CTA to shop now and change the color to this. Now to save this design as template, I first need to convert this into a container. So click here and under layout, click convert. To avoid confusion, let's delete the older section from here like this. Awesome. Let's save it as a template by clicking here. And in this pop-up, give it a name and save it like this. Now let's create a slider out of this. Before we move on, we need to make sure that our site is fast because adding customizations like these can slow down even a new website and drive away visitors. So I'll go to elif.net, sign up from here, enter my website URL and click continue. Elif will now optimize your site and it does everything that your site needs for a 90 plus score like caching, image optimization, lazy loading and everything else. That's why you don't need to use multiple plugins for performance anymore. Just a lift is enough. The visual regression will also help you detect if any changes happened on your site. And in the rare occurrence, if you don't get a 90 plus speed score, you can just ping the free support here and they'll take care of it. Now, let's move on to the next step. To create a slider on your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, add new plugin and search for Sina extension. Here it is. Let's install and activate it. Now let's go back to that page and look for Sina content and select the Sina content slider. This is how it looks by default. Before we add a slider, we need to change the slider settings. I want only one slider to show at a time. So I'll change the setting from here like this. These other settings are fine, but I don't like the dots here. So I'll disable it from here. Now let's add the slider. I'll enable save templates from here and in this drop down, I'll select coffee slider template. And from this drop down, I'll select the template I just made. Now using the previous steps, I'll create multiple templates and using this plugin, I'll import them one by one. In the style tab, I'll increase the height to somewhere around this so that it covers the entire screen. Now let's change these arrows. So go to style tab and in navigation and dots, change the arrow colors to this. Now that we are almost done, let's see how this looks on the desktop. To make this slider full screen, let's go back to the editor. For this, I'll edit the content slider from here and change the content width to full width. Click update and refresh the page. Let's see how it looks. Looks fine to me. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this, so click here and I'll see you there.